All right, on go. Three, two, one. You didn't say go. You said on go, then never said go. Go. I'm uh, <laughs> Three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Truths, One Lie. I'm here with Big Jiggly Panda. Say hi. Hi. So, Andy and I, we went on tour together. We'll become best friends because of that. I thought it'd be a cool idea to do Two Truths, One Lie. The way this is going to work is we have three stories each. Two of them are true stories, and only one of them is a fake story. And it's my job, if I'm telling, or if Anthony's telling the story, it's my job to figure out what the lie is. And vice versa. You'll get it as we go along. I hope so, because I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> in the comment section, while we're telling stories, feel free to leave in the comments which one you think is real and which one you think is fake. Before we go anywhere, A, yes, I did get a new camera. In this video that you're watching, it's not available, but it is after this video. Well, there's a few videos. Anyway, watch this. To be at the top of your game, you need fuel. Introducing Gamer Bread, the world's first high-performance bread made for gamers. It's got an ambidextrous grip, strengthened fingers, and improved dexterity. And when you're done, fuel up with maximum caloric density for maximum focus. Dual functionality flash cools your rig. Get it now at GamerBreadNow.com. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. You could get that, or you could get... Rage Shadow Legends! No, 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 wait, okay, wait, okay, I, I, I feel it. I feel you moving your mouse to skip. Okay, uh, duh. bear with me because I actually play the game. Let me show you my things. <laughs> that sounded weird. Day 36 in a row. Yes, I shall claim my ancient shard. <laughs> I have put an outrageous amount of hours in this game. I'm talking hundreds of hours. For those of you who don't know what Raid Shadow Legends is, A, welcome to the internet, and B, it's a dark fantasy RPG where you get champions, you build your champions up like children, and then you watch your children kill people. It's Perfect. You can play on iOS, Android, or PC. It's all down to you. Look at my pretty boys. I have my new fire dude. I have, if you look, I have three defense legendaries. Like, I, oh God. <laughs> and I have one really hot attack who can just ruin me any day she wants. Yeah, that's right. What? You go into battle, campaign. You fight the campaign, it's fully voiced over. It's looking gorgeous. Dungeons, if you wanna level up your characters, if you open up this, you have to defeat certain bosses to get specific items for specific champions. Spider gets you rings, Fire Knight gets you armor and stuff. Arcane Keep is kinda like the, 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 the glue that makes things work. Faction Wars, you get different kinds of people. Look at the top left, you got King Revenant, Demon Spawn, you got Dark Elf, Sacred Order, you got Orcs, you got Orc and Tribes, and all these specific Factions need certain kinds of love. And that's factions for you. Arena, flexing against random people. Look how big my team is. I also call my dick my team. When I first started doing raid shoutouts, I thought the game was cool and I played it a little bit. And then as time went on, I was like, but if I wake up and do this thing, I can get that thing. And then that thing can do that thing. And now I put maybe 200 hours in the game. I know it's a meme, but it's a damn good meme at that. And then you come up to really big boss dudes like this. What I'm gonna do, boop, hit him with that. Love it. And then you just work with your team to just destroy everything. Get my defense, get the hurricane rocking. Love it. Defense up, love and life. So if you like the sound of anything to do with this, cause it's, it's free. Listen, you can't lose out on things when it's free. You install it, if you like it, keep on playing. It's free. And if you use my link in the description, you can get yourself 100K free silver, which is actually quite a lot. You get three ancient shards, which you can get yourself even more champions. You get yourself two clan boss keys, and you also get yourself an epic free champion called Executioner. And there you go. Just like that, we've got ourselves 6,000 silver and four different shards that we can use to get more people. And that is that. Go download it. Go try it for yourself. Thank you, Ray Shower Legends, for supporting me and supporting this channel and sponsoring this video once again. With that being said, let's get back to my old camera. <laughs> So it's gonna work. I'm gonna read you three stories. You have to try and figure out which one's a lie. Feel free to dig through any story you want. Okay. Perfect. Nani? Did you just throw up in your mouth? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, hey, let dude. me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and rinse the pipes. I'll read you a very quick summary of all of them. When I was eight years old, uh, I had a dog called Sparky, and we were coming back from the grocery store. We walked into an elevator because we lived in the fifth floor at the time. I can't remember. Went into the elevator, realized we forgot some more stuff. Went outside the elevator. Sparky was still in the elevator. Doors closed. Dog went up with lead still attached. Story number two. Do you know the reason why I'm called Minnie? Yeah, I've seen it. Damn it. Okay, we're going to skip that one. As well as being a very sporty kid, when I was growing up, I used to be a goalkeeper in soccer, football, whatever you want. I have massive marks on the back of my head from goalkeeping, and there was a match we played against. It was it was either Aberdeen Hearts Youths or Man City Youths, like under 12. I was like 11 years old at the time. I went, rushed out, grabbed the ball. I got stood in the back of my head. The back of my head started to bleed. I got sent off. 
I was the front page of the newspaper the next day for having a bloody head. But the best part was, is they got my name wrong. <laughs> they called me Traffer Jackson. <laughs> what? They called me Traffer Jackson. It's like injured goalkeeper Traffer Jackson walking off after his game against Manchester City. Was there anybody on your team with that name? Yes. He was a okay. striker. Or midfielder. Okay. He was one of the two. I'm about to say, would it be? It would be worse. I don't even know if it's true <laughs> or not. But it would be so much. Name. It's just a random name they thought of. And there's also prom night. This is 2012, 2013. So my prom day, her name was Hannah Walker. Went to prom, go through prom, and then normally I don't know how you guys do, but afterwards we went to a friend's house. We got drunk, whatever the hell. So my prom night that night got a little slushed. Let's say it that way. Police came over and they realized, hey boys, what the f going on here? And then they realized that she was hammered, absolutely gone, to the point where she spent a night in jail for being drunk and disorderly because she, end quote, hit the cop. She punched the cop in the face. And next day, she got known as the human punching bag for the next two years. Oh my God, my prom didn't go like that. And those are your stories. So we've got the dog story, Sparky. Yep. We've got the goalkeeper story, and we've got prom night. One of those okay. is a lie, okay. two of them is true. Let's see here. I'm tempted to, to dig a little bit more towards the prom story because okay. who the hell would go to prom with you? <laughs> I would go to prom with you. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they finally broke. It's been like four years. I did it for a bit and it went way too far. <laughs> See, so you said that after prom, you guys went to a house and yep. got a little sloshy. See, this totally seems like something that would happen because y'all come out of the womb in Ireland with a bottle of scotch. Uh, my blood is basically half alcohol right now. Yeah, straight yeah. ethanol. You know me, so I'm a, I'm quite the heavyweight when it comes to alcohol. So it's quite believable. Mm -hmm. I do believe that. Okay. She's, you said she assaulted a police officer? She assaulted a police officer. She is a wreck. Like whenever she's drunk, she is a wreck. I didn't know this because I've never seen her drunk. Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> the two, I remember, okay, door is here. There's like there's like a corner couch here. There's a TV here. There's a window here. And then it goes over here, like bedroom, things like that. So we're all just chilling around. We were watching some YouTube video. I can't remember, it was eight years ago. They come in, she's hammered. She's like, screw it. Let's start flirting with these guys. I'm like, hey, this is prom night. You're mine. Let's not do this. But she said, screw you anyway. The cop said, no, get off me. You're not allowed to do that. She started to get angry. So like, I can do what I want. I'm a free country, blah, blah, blah. Punched her, punched the guy in the face. She ended up in handcuffs and spent the night in prison. I'm so surprised I haven't told you that. Um, That's why it took a while to think of stories to ask you. Cause like, you know a lot. When you spend three months right. together on a tour bus, you get to know a lot about the person. Right, right. I feel like you totally did tell me the dog story. So I'm trying to narrow it down between oh, really? the other okay. two. I just, are you agile enough to be a goalkeeper with all that junk in the trunk? I feel like you would be more- Yeah, I'm uh, un understandable, really. I was a really sporty kid. I played, it was played for Institute FC. It was in the Foil Cup. You can Google it if you want. Dude, you could literally make up names of football clubs right now and I would totally believe them. That, <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, yes. Burgers United, you know, the the, the the classic team from down south. You, you wouldn't I would be it. like, sure, yeah, I've heard of them. <laughs> Didn't they beat Manchester United last week or something? Oh, yeah, they played Down Syndrome FC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, so th th at that time, it was against Ma either Manchester City or Aberdeen Hearts. It was one of the two. It was okay. two. It was coming towards the end of the first half and the goalkeeper runs out. And whenever you like know the ball rolls to you, normally they'll do like a through ball. A really long pass is known as like a through ball, okay. right? and they passed the ball and it was way too much into the box. But the goalkeeper, you have to kind of stay inside your box. So I ran out, I dove on the ball, and then my defender came through, his name was Zach Hamilton, and he tried to kick, oh sh he kicked me in the back of the head because I, my, uh, my body was already on the ball. So he used my head as a ball and there's a giant lump still there to this day. My head is bleeding, it's a mess. We're down 2-0 at halftime. Sub goalkeeper comes on, it's 11-0 end of the game it was oh bad God. but the next day i woke up and it was like institute fc under 12s against aberdeen hearts under 12s and it was like a few pictures of the game and then there was my bloody wreck holding my head and it's like an institute goalkeeper craig tom or not uh, trafford jackson trafford jackson trafford jackson give me some details on the old uh, sparky story the old sparky story so i was eight years old so we lived in an apartment complex i said this every night there's four apartment complexes i lived in the, <laughs> the ice. so we lived in four apartment complexes. i lived on the fifth floor 
there is an elevator shaft and there's stairs kind of going around it up in each floor so if you want to take the stairs you can and we all walk in with our groceries we realize that there's still another grocery bag left to go so we all walk out of the lift Sparky doesn't want to walk out of the lift, but because I think it was my dad who was holding the lead, Sparky stayed in the elevator and my dad walked out of the elevator and the doors closed. So Sparky's in, we have the handle on the other side and it's something I'm never going to forget is watching the thing just slowly go up the elevator door. Like the lead as the things, because we pressed the button so he's already going up and we're like, holy, we just killed, we just killed Sparky. So my brother and I, I've never ran so fast in my life. We sprinted up the stairs and we just see him down on the stage. Just like, hi guys, what you doing? Supposedly his collar wasn't like tight enough and it snapped. Cause obviously like his head would get pressed against the door. Right. And just with the pressure of the elevator going up, it must've snapped and he was fine. The, we took him into the vet to make sure everything was good. He had no other repercussions, but I was very, very, I was mentally preparing myself to, to see a decapitated Sparky. That was actually not too long after we got him. One of those is a lie. Yeah, I know. Which one is it? You see why I wanted to play this game? <laughs> I feel like it's the second story. The Is the fake one? The newspaper story. The newspaper story? I think, I feel like, I don't know, man. I could totally see anybody in Ireland getting drunk and fighting a cop. Anybody. Whether it be it's, a prom it's date, your grandma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it's, anybody. That's what we do. I believe it. So even mm. if it's false, it's really believable. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's your name, but when you were telling the story a second time, you slipped up. Mm. So I don't oh. know if there's... But did I do it on purpose? Oh, I don't know! <laughs> Final answer, Anthony. What is it? Newspaper story. Newspaper story was the truth. It did happen? Yeah. The cop, complete lie. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like, as soon as I was writing up, like, you walk in the door here, I'm like, all right, think of a house. I guess there'd be uh. a couch here. There, uh, sure. I was winging it on the fly. I did actually go to prom with a girl called Hannah Walker, and I did go to an after party at my friend Jordan Austin's place. But apart from that, the rest of it's a lie. <laughs> Damn. I mean, I guess it does kind of sound like the plot is super bad a little bit now that you my think about it. My prom night got arrested on my prom night. That is way too, like, stereotypical. It's a little secret. I didn't go to any of my proms. I was too busy playing in a band and being cool. Hell yeah. So maybe that is a normal prom night. Hell, I don't know. Now we got Anthony's. We're going to start off with one that's going to make pretty much most of my audience members cringe. It's oh, going to make no. them hurt. Okay. Okay. Uh, so when I was a younger man, I would mm -hmm. say probably, I don't remember exactly how old I was. We'll say between like eight and 12 because I don't okay. remember. I can hardly remember last week. Right. I woke up one morning with severe stomach pains. Hmm. and inability to walk. So my mother and father took me to the hospital and it was discovered that my testicles had twisted within the scrotum. Oh my God, no. Stop. And that there was no way to naturally fix it other than to wait. That's one story. There is the time that I was at a public swimming pool and may have passed a what? log and cleared the pool. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. We all know how I am. So far, it's just really embarrassing things about you. <laughs> yep. Yep. And uh, here's a doozy. Here's one that might, you know. Not again. <laughs> that might haunt you a little bit. Uh, during my driving school sessions, you know, where you go on the road yep. and you learn how to drive, uh, I was in a car accident and totaled the car. Oh, man. There is no... Okay. Let's go back to the first one because I kind of want to get this one out of the way. Did you wake up one morning and you just like something felt wrong? So it was sort of like a gradual growing pain because, you know, as you walk around, especially when it's warmer out and those things are bouncing around. Of course. There's, there's a lot of activity. So my grandma was like the go-to spot, her house that my mom and I would always go to. Okay. So we were over at my grandma's house and as the day went on, it got more and more painful to the point where I was like in tears. I was a oh, kid. Oh, so it was like one day you woke up and just as the day went on. Okay, got it, got it. Right, it became gradual. And I told my mom, I was like, I'm in a lot of pain. Like I, it hurts, like I'm, I was crying. I didn't know what was going on. So she called my dad, he met us at the hospital and then they felt around, realized that my stomach pain was actually caused Cause you know when you get kicked in the balls, like your stomach that hurts. E yeah. Yeah, it's not your your testicles don't hurt. It's like the it's the connective pain. Right. So they were feeling around and they touched the scrotum and it got super sensitive and then they figured out what it was was like the ball had twisted around like a nerve and the only way to let it go away was to just naturally let that nerve ending die off. So I just had to deal with it for like a week, week and a half, and it gradually. Uh, was got it better. like gradually, or was like you you woke up one day and you're like, oh, okay, it's gone? It, no, it was gradual. It got better and better. You told that story bad. really well, and I kind of wish you didn't. Where were you when you 
deuce to log. So my mom and I would go to a public pool that was like part of like a church. Where was it? Uh, it was down the street from where we used to live across the street from a mire, which is like a local like Walmart kind of place. A mire? Okay. Yeah. And right next to it is like a fake Coyote Ugly bar. It was like one of nice. those cheap like... What was it called? Uh, it was literally... No, it was, they literally called it Coyote Ugly, but it's oh, they nice. based it off of like the movie one, but it was like in Dayton, Ohio. Like, right. So it was a bit more... Yeah. <laughs> it, was, like, <laughs> it was like the girls who didn't make the, 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 like, the job at the strip <laughs> club down the street got no. this job right next to like the church swimming pool which is hilarious but also makes sense okay um, that's ohio what'd you like, expect it's literally like a mile from a high school it's hilarious <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah. And uh, so this was the public pool we uh, we would go to. What because was the it pool was, called? I don't remember what the pool was called. It was, yeah, I don't think, the church. Dude, I didn't care. That's fair. I was there to swim. I would swim there with some of my friends. I was at a, a private school at the time. So we would go to this pool, which makes it worse because a lot of people there knew me, mm -hmm. which... I don't know, this kind of set me up for my future of poop stories, I guess. But, uh, you know, one day we're swimming and, uh, you know, some people pee in the pool, uh -huh. some people don't. At that age, I was one of those kids that, you know, uh -huh. peed in the pool. And uh, you ever have one of those pees that, like, just hits you so good that you get, like, the shudders? You're like, oh. Oh, of course. Yeah, well, I did that, and, uh... You were too busy focusing on said shudders that you pooed yourself. Dude, I got, like, one of those, like, full body, like, oh, <laughs> and literally, like... <laughs> Pop, pop the nuggy out. <laughs> so, okay. So like, and we're in water, so it, you know. Poof. <laughs> it wasn't one of those logs that immediately sunk to the bottom. It was this a flotation float. device. <laughs> right, right. That's why bit, I feel like this one's vessel. real, because for those who don't know, Anthony has a history of deucing himself. Uh, I'm not going to let you tell a story. Don't worry. I got you. This is already pretty bad. So, They've probably okay. already seen it or heard you, the story. Okay, you, but, uh, you, you pooed yourself. What happened? Yeah, people realized it was a poo-poo, and uh, they got everybody out of the pool and fished it out and then resumed swimming. <laughs> Wait, so they fished it out and then people got back in? Well, I mean, like, it's, it's not a very nice pool, my friend. I'm telling you, it's okay. next to a shitty... <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an outdoor swimming pool in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. I don't know what you expected. It, it, it kind of imagine like, if somebody took, like, an apartment complex pool and made it public. <laughs> 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 One of them kind of deals. It's it's like, ah, this is just an hourly occurrence of just fishing out. Okay, so that was the one originally where I was like, okay, this might be the fake one. But yep. you told a good story. Yep. You, you told a really good story. I can't say the other word. I remember what the last one. Oh, the accident during driving school. Oh my God. So I, I waited a little bit to get my license. I was... Okay. 17 almost 18 when Same i got mine um because i was nervous and as we see that was probably for good reason <laughs> <laughs> so we do like well, everybody has to do it it's part of the driving experience but you you know you sit in a car with an instructor and uh -huh. they had like a they have a modified car where the instructor also has a brake pedal okay so it's like if you're coming up to an area and you're not braking quick enough they can emergency brake for you so we're getting towards the end of like our session for the day mm -hmm. um and I'm still not super great at driving. How at many this lessons point. have you had at this point? You think? Um, I think so. I think we did. I can't remember if they were hour or ninety minute sessions, and we had to do like I don't remember how. I think it's like ten hours of on road training with an instructor, or eight oh, hours. Oh, it's different in America. I, I I don't know the difference. I don't remember exactly. Dude, that was almost fifteen years ago. Um, but it was it was quite a bit. So I think we were getting towards the end of our sessions. Like I remember being like pretty familiar with the driver uh -huh. in our routes and stuff like that, and I was feeling a little bit more confident. And we were coming up to a red light. I thought we were to a yellow light. I thought we we're good to go. Oh, He's like, you thought no. it was going green. Well, I know. I it was, you know, I was like, well, it's only yellow. We can make this. Like, that was my mentality. Oh, no. And his mentality is like, no, we got to stop. We got to stop. We got to stop. So I'm like, okay. Was so I slam on the brakes. Intersection? He slams on his brake, and we come to a stop at the red light. So we're good, right? Okay. And then the back end of our car explodes as the person in the minivan behind us rams our car because they didn't want to stop. Oh. Turns out it's a mom and her car in a minivan with her kids and because she thought we went through the light that she was golden to keep, just keep going like she's watching the car in front of her kind of deal of course so she did she, i guess the last time she looked up was you know i didn't look like i was going to stop what, what, what kind of minivan was it uh so well here's the thing i wasn't allowed to get out of the car until the ambulance got there my instructor was like stay in the car because i'm a minor oh, i'm like okay. 17 so i I, it's probably like one of those cheap Grand Cherokees or like a Toyota, whatever the hell they call their stupid things. Uh huh. Um, but our car got pushed all the way in the middle of the intersection. It's like a T junction one. Yep. So I sat in the car until the ambulance got there and they checked on me. They're like, "Are you okay?" Yeah. yeah. The airbag. The airbag. The, air the airbags didn't deploy. Uh huh. 
great car to be in, I guess, to learn how to drive. Yeah. The trunk was literally in, like, the back seat. And I remember the funniest thing that happened that day, because my instructor had to drive me home, or he had to stay on the site, and another instructor had to come pick me up and take me home. Okay. Is that he actually thanked me. He was like, because I think we're going to get more from insurance than the car is worth. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what the f*** that means. I... Uh, we just got rear-ended. Everybody was totally okay. Like, the kids were in her car screaming. Uh -huh. They were upset. But nobody was injured. She was super apologetic. I didn't get ticketed because I wasn't at fault. I stopped at a red light. Yep. He was actually glad that we stopped and did the right thing. Right. It was unfortunate. And that's Passed my driving exam the first try. Uh, it was it was great. But that really put a damper on my excitement for driving. Yep. For a while. And now you love it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, no, I can't go without it. man, okay. See, that last one, it sounds like you've told it quite a few times. Like, the, the detail you went into with, like, the kids and even, like, you're like, oh, and the driving instructor said this. That sounded like a real story. The deuce story, I'm trying to deduce it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But, okay, the pool sounds legit. Is it near a church and the Coyote Ugly Bar? There's a lot going on and there's a lot to, you know, decompact. Yeah, yeah. It was an apartment, kind of like an apartment complex pool. It was a nasty pool. The thing that gets me is you said that people got back into the pool after you took a deuce. I think they would have waited for a while after that, before they got in, regardless of the situation. It doesn't matter where you live. People have standards for when they yeah. in the pool. Uh, <laughs> And it was Maybe. at a church, and a coyote ugly bar, and a school. That's a lot. And then we go back to your first story. And the- Dude, I- I, I want to say it's fake, because- The old beanbag that, story. Dude, that is so- It's just so unfortunate. <laughs> More than anything, but it's like- The doctor's like, we just have to let the nerve ending die. I don't know how nerves last like that. And you literally woke up, and it was just- What, what was that last part? So woke you woke- So you woke up, and your ball was just like- Like twisted? No, yeah. it was a grad- the, the, the actual pain itself was onset okay. throughout that day. And then after the, like, they, they sort of diagnosed what the problem was, I don't know if it was a nerve ending or not. You know, this is me relaying information that I remember as a kid. I remember the doctor being like, do you know what your testicles are? And I'm like, yes, you have your hands on them. <laughs> like, <laughs> that sounds I know so exactly. Bad. That is the worst sentence, but go on. <laughs> yes, I know what my testicles are, but there's no way to like treat that other than to like open the bag and sort of. Right. So it was just take it easy, let it naturally. Like, I don't know if it was like a connective tissue that maybe got twisted or if it was but like the, a nerve or whatever it was, but. You woke up with this issue. Like you didn't have it like the night before. Like you woke up and you're like, this is weird. And then it just got worse as the day went on. It could, uh, I don't remember if I had it the day before. Okay. I just remember that day of being like, oh, I have a pain in my stomach, blah, blah, blah. Oh man. Okay, comments. I don't know. Put, put a comment down below which one you think because i don't know place your comment and then come back dude okay that is so much to unpack this the last one's legit the last one i feel is legit because you're telling stories about what he said and it sounds like you've told it a million times the beanbag story i hope it's fake because that's so <laughs> unfortunate and the swimming pool story, I feel like there's a bit too much going on. But it is also Dayton, Ohio, and maybe that's just a Thursday afternoon. <laughs> uh, I wish all three of these were fake. I believe the fake story is the swimming pool. Damn. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! I was like, dude, you're trying to tell me that there's a, <laughs> a coyote ugly, called coyote ugly, beside a school, beside a church, and it's an apartment building swimming pool? That's a lot. That's a that's a reality TV show. The place exists. I oh, just didn't poop in it. <laughs> so I see if I can find what it's called. Yeah! Okay, this is sick. I actually love this a lot. I'm so surprised I, you fell for the, what do you call it? As soon as I got out the iPad and started drawing out room, it's like, yeah, he's gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Yep. And that is that. Anthony, thank you so much for joining. This is uh, honestly like, I did one a while ago. Uh, I think with me and Mini Mentor. If you guys wanna go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but this is really fun. I hope you guys got yeah. to know more about us. If you want to subscribe, click that subscribe button down below. Go subscribe to Big Jiggly Panda, of course. If you don't know who he is, you can fix that. That's okay. We can work can. on this. And if you don't like me, that's totally fine too. I don't either. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys. I'll see y'all for some more very... I'll see you... What did I just even try and say? I'll see y'all for some more videos very, very soon. Have a good night. Bye! Every gamer knows you always have to have backup.